of the paint now has it. Gets that to Miller in the far corner. Now she works her way to the elbow on the far side. Gets it to Jones outside the block. She steps back, puts it up, and floats it in. To give GW a quick 2-0 lead. Chandler thought about lining up a three. Now gets it to Prangy in the near wing. Close it inside to Washington. Washington turns around, gets one to roll and go. Ties this one back up at 11. Gets it into Washington. Washington goes right up from underneath the basket. Gives the Colonials the lead back, 13-11. Burns has it batted away by Jones. Now a float pass to Miller. Miller to the basket and lays it in on the breakaway. Makes it 21-19. The Colonials have the lead again. So Prangy gets the rebound and gives the chase to bring it up for the Colonials. She's got speed. GW had three on two. She goes right into the paint, floats it up over the head of a defender. Puts it in, makes it 29-21, 3.20 to play. She's going to break towards the paint from the block, tries to flip it to Prangy. It goes to Shively instead. Shively pulls up from just inside the near elbow and puts that one in. And time's going to expire here without a last second shot. The Colonials will go into the half, leading 33-25 over the Fordham Rams near the first shot from the field that Fordham's hit. As Jones pulls up for three, that one's nothing but net. Jonquil Jones answering right back, puts the Colonials up 36-27. Now gets to Shively. Shively pulls up for a long two. That one doesn't go. Shively gets her own rebound and lays it right back in. No one's picking her up. Makes it 40 to 32. Shively coming quickly up the court with it. Gets the chase, and Chase lays it off the glass and in. Makes it 44-34. The Colonials lead back to double digits. It looked like she was going to come down with that ball. Ball inbounded right to Hannah Shively. That's a play we've seen all season. GW takes a 52-36 lead. Near side gets to Chandler, top of the arc. Chandler drives to the far box and just rolls one in. No one's stopping her there. It's 58-45. Chase at the free throw line, now gets to Miller. Miller pulls up for a long two. That one had the line, had the distance, and it's good. Makes it 66-56, 2.20 to play. It's a big time shot by a veteran player, Shakisha Miller, 